Now I'm cleaning the udders and the teats. A little soap and bleach. Not very much bleach though. Now we're cleaning out the teats for any bacteria that may have crawled up in them and to check the milk to see if there might be anything wrong with it. I started out with one of them Henry milkers, the ones where you use a hand pump most of the time. But with my carpal tunnel, I, it, it wasn't going too well. So I found this milker and uh, I got it for $500. It come with a little plastic two, uh, the little plastic two gallon ones that you see, you'll see here. Plus it had a seven and a half gallon big stainless steel with all the accessories for, the, for it too from the vacuum pump. Yeah, I'm juggling it a little to get it to all come down to finish it off. Kind of like when the little lamb's hitting on it. Now I'm going to put a little teat disinfectant on it. Yeah, she gave me two signs. When she brought the one from the flower garden, it's almost as big as that goat. goat. I got a nice little white coffee filter to uh, filter it with. I went back to get a few more of them as spares but they didn't have the white ones anymore at that time. Pretty nice having the hot water uh, out right in my milking milking cabin. We're cleaning up this stuff. This winter, I put plastic across just by the edge of the sink there to where that I'll have a division I got a plastic division between the sink and cleaning area there and where the goat comes in to be milked that'll help keep everything more sanitary I tried freezing the milk, but when I thawed it out, it kind of had like milk sand in it. It tasted good, but, uh, you know, who wants that sandy, gritty taste in your mouth? Especially, especially when you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich.
pull jack. Got your Clorox bleach. Now I set this pan over here on the stand. Yeah, I can't see it, but set it on there, and then I take the milker put it in put the thing down in there turn it on and it sucks the water up through it and washes it then I just take the thing slosh it around and then I rinse it with hot water and that's all there is to it and there's my nice double bowl deep sink cost me three dollars two hundred dollar Kohler sink but for the hot water, see the little hot water heater? Well, the hot water heater and the faucet and all the fittings to fix it, that come to $400. I got the, like my neighbors, when he closed his uh, restaurant, the signs, I pulled the plastic off the signs to get this white plastic countertop that I glued to the plywood to make the counter look nice and clean and I still got a little more down at the other end to add to it and of course there's my refrigerator seen the sign it said pre take me it works and it has worked for the last couple of years really well and it was real clean too